we've been working very closely with uh, Mark McDonald, incorporating not only the Zen products, but AMPM in the very near future, I believe we'll have here in Thailand to actually complement the effects of the Zen products as well. And I, just was on, I was just on the phone with your consultant from Thailand, and it looks like there's, without a question, things we can do to move the process along quicker. So I'm looking forward to really helping everything I can here in Thailand, working with Mark, and really, really making a big effort to teach you all how to live a healthier, longer, and productive life so you can enjoy your families and all the hard work you've done your whole life. So Mark lied. I'm not 69. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be 70 sure. <laughs> so he lied a little bit, but I think I try to lead to be the example of what good products and good lifestyle can really do because we as human beings should be living to 120, 130. And we have the science, we have the products, and we have the information to share with you to do that. So I look forward to seeing you all in Thailand over and over again and doing everything I can to help build a, the Jeunesse market for you along with Mark. And in the meantime, do everything you can to live a healthy lifestyle, use the Zen products, use the Jeunesse products to look good, to feel good but also pass that information on to everyone you see because you are ambassadors. You are the teachers of how people can live a healthier, longer life. Thank you all. So he's my travel buddy. <laughs> and I just want to share this man that he lives what he teaches. <laughs> and we, he's a black belt in fifth degree black belt. <laughs> in Enkido. <laughs> and Taekwondo. <laughs> so make sure before you leave today that you give him the biggest hug ever and say we love you Dr. G and Papa because he chose to come here to be with you rather than any place else that he could have done today and he's going to work out with us in a little bit too already okay so for, for the next 45 minutes is she okay she must fell okay she's good next 45 minutes we're going to talk about you we're going to talk about why you're here how we can take this movement throughout all of Thailand So that's a question I want you to think about right now. What's the goal with your health? What's the goal with your body? See, I'm in Bangkok, Thailand right now because of something that happened in 1999. So in 1993, I saw my future wife in college. <laughs> she was like that lady right there. And I was sitting right here. And I told my best friend, that's the girl I'm going to marry. Never spoke to her. True story. 
นี้เป็นเรื่องจริงนะ And it took me two weeks to muster up the courage. แล้วใช้เวลาสองอาทิตย์ในการที่จะแบบฟังอาบแบบพยายามอ่ะ I asked her out. ไปขอเดท She said yes. And we've been together every day for 26 years. Love of my life. And we have had an incredible life together. But in 1999, right when we launched my first company called Venice Nutrition in Venice Beach, California. We were at a restaurant, and a waiter tripped and fell into her neck. And she had, a, she had an impact injury. And we thought she'd be okay. But a couple weeks went by, she wasn't better. Two months went by, she wasn't better. And she was put on pain medication, sleep medication. She was on digestive medication. And she was diagnosed with something called fibromyalgia. Which is an autoimmune nervous system problem. And six months into her injury, she could barely walk. And she was sitting on her couch, like where you were sitting. I exited our bedroom. And she was sitting there crying. Her head was down. And she, she looked up and I said, baby, what's the matter? And she said, I'm never going to get better. I've lost all hope. You see, Abby, before her injury, was super active. See, your health isn't about the number on the scale. It's not about what you look like in the mirror. It's about how you feel every single day. It's about your quality of life. So I looked at her, and as a husband, the woman you love, when they lost hope, it breaks you. So I told her, no matter what, we'll find a way. And in 1999, I started really focusing on the power of food. About how food can balance your body. Then combined with exercise, you can build with movement. And how the right supplementation can fill your nutritional gaps. How you need to hydrate. And then you need to sleep and manage your stress. And I created those six components of life, of health. And we started working with Abby. And 1% slowly and steadily she got better. Now there's no miracle. But six months later with her work she's off medication. She still has fibromyalgia. She still has good days and bad days. But see, because she chose to fight for her health back in 1999, we have a 14 year old son named Hunter. We have a, we have a four year old girl named Hope. And we are living our life. See, everyone in this room has a decision. And many of you already made it because you're rocking Zen already. But think about all the people throughout Thailand that are not. We can decide to move forward with our bodies or move backwards. So today, right now, I want everyone to stand up for me. 
I want you to think about the one thing you want to achieve with your health. The one thing that will make you feel your best. See, I'm 47. My four-year-old girl, when she graduates high school, I will be 60. I want to be the fittest, strongest 60-year-old man I can be. See, today is about you becoming your best. It's about raising your level. Taking your food, your exercise, your quality of life to another level. And then your passion inspiring everyone you know. So I want you to get clear on the one thing you want to achieve. Why you're here today. Are we ready? Are we ready? Now I want you to do this. I want you to. I want to be some energy in this room. So for the next minute. I want you to leave your bureau and I want you to hug five people and say this is your moment. Ready? Go! Just for a moment. <laughs> so we're gonna cover three things before we work out. We're gonna cover food, products, and community. And our whole focus today is community. So I want everyone to say food. Say food. Love it. Now, lift up your left arm. Lift up your right arm. Take a breath. Feel your heartbeat. Give the person next to you a high five. Now everyone can sit down for a moment. So I want to teach you about the science of your body. Seven minutes of power. And I want to teach you why we created Zen and why we created eating a certain way. So if you were once a baby, raise your hand. Everyone. What we talk about, what? how does a baby eat? It's a balance of protein, fat, carbohydrates, and breast milk. Stops eating when they're satisfied. Eats again when they're hungry. The reason why is blood sugar. Can you see that? <laughs> That's a better one. See, every time you skip a meal, your blood sugar drops. And when your blood sugar drops, you release a hormone called glucagon. glucagon. <laughs> and that causes you to burn your muscle. I love not. And then when you actually, you start, when your blood sugar is low, you crave carbohydrates. And when you overeat carbs, it spikes your blood sugar. You overrease insulin. And you store fat. See, every breath you took, every movement is created through an energy 
resource called ATP. Everyone say ATP. ATP. Say ATP. ATP. Now look, this lady, I love her outfit. She's she is my ATP for today. So this is your energy. Say ATP. Right there, you're my ATP. See, so when we think about that's our energy. But there's only six essential nutrients for life. Protein, fat, carbohydrates, those are called macronutrients. Only those nutrients can make ATP. And then you have your micronutrients. Your vitamins, your minerals, and your water. No energy from that, only protein, fats, and carbs. So we need a mess of protein. So I want everyone to list some proteins that you like. Shout out someone's. Shout out some different proteins. Chicken. Eggs. Okay. Milk. Fish. Fish. So then you. You're translating the English back to the So protein. You have chicken. Fish. Fish. You have byproducts like eggs. Milk. You have your beef. So protein. It's a muscle. <laughs> Protein affects that blood sugar hormone glucagon. So every meal you need protein. So everyone say, eat your protein. Eat your protein. So this is your protein. Okay, this is your energy ATP. But, but now we need a fat. That's my fat. Yes. Up right there. So shout out some fats. Oil. Butter. So oil. Blood butter. Avocado. Cheese is fat and protein. And I'm going to talk about that. That's good. Um, you're going to have your nuts, seeds. So protein affects the blood sugar hormone glucagon. Fat slows down digestion. So these are essential nutrients. Meaning you must eat them to get the energy. So go to the person and say you must eat fat to lose fat. Tell the person. Say you must eat fat to burn fat. So remember. We got to balance our blood sugar just like a baby. Your energy is ATP. You have your protein, your fat, and now we need some carbohydrates. You're going to be my carbohydrate. So shout out some carbohydrates. So I love that Thailand comes with rice, bread, and flour. Say that. So you have three types of carbs. You have your fruits, your vegetables, and then your complex carbs, like grains. So the rice, the bread, flour, pasta, those are heavier carbs, so you got to be careful. You can have them, but you got to learn how to moderate them. And then you have your fruits and your vegetables. 
So I want everyone to really see this right now. So this is your energy, ATP. Say ATP. There's only three nutrients in life that can make ATP. That's it. Protein. Fat. Carbohydrates. Now you have two types of digestion. No, you're going to talk in the morning. You come up, and then I need, um, where's my man who helped out in the beginning? Come on up. Yep. Now we have two types of digestion. So we have a man and a woman. You have mechanical digestion. And chemical digestion. So mechanical are your teeth. Your esophagus. Your stomach. And your intestines. Okay, those are all muscles. And it's designed to take your protein, fats, and carbs. And, and break it down. And then you have chemical digestion. Which you have enzymes. In your mouth, in your stomach. And you have acids. So the two types of digestion. Are designed to take your protein. Your fat and your carbs and break them down to the simplest form. So let me move our digestion right here. So this is the key for you. ATP is your energy. Your goal with your body is to balance your blood sugar. So if you skip meals, eat too much, your body will then have to use hormones to balance itself. But imagine if you can learn how to balance your protein, fats, and carbs in the right amount so that your digestive system can optimally break down these nutrients to make ATP. You're not using food to lose weight. You're not using food to build muscle. You're using food to create balance. And when your body's in balance, it releases fat. It, it builds muscle. And it allows you to increase your metabolism. All protein gets broken down to amino acids. All carb, all fat get broken down to fatty acids. And all carbohydrates get broken down to sugar. And this is why we're seeing such great results in Thailand. Because you're learning how to eat smarter. How to balance your body better. And not just to lose weight. But something that would work for a child. Three questions you want to ask yourself. The food program I do is it based on the science of my body? Balanced blood sugar is your body. Would I put a child on it? The right program will work for everybody. And can I do it for the rest of my life? This is why Zen has grown throughout the world. I grew up with my mom as a chronic dieter and she ate her diet foods. And I had and then the rest of our family ate the normal food. We should all eat together as a family. Educate us how our body works. 
So your energy is ATP. Whether you're adult or whether you're, uh, uh, how old are you? Whether you're adult or you're nine. ATP. You mean protein? Fat? Carbohydrates? And then you optimize your digestive system to fuel your body. In our community, we're teaching you how to eat. How to eat your favorite Thai foods and balance your body. So you control how you want to feel for the rest of your life. Make sense? Okay. Let's give them a hand. Okay, so the first thing was food. Can we go to that one slide? And we have our Zen Idol speakers that are going to be coming up throughout this presentation. Go to the food one. There we go. So this is going to be what we're going to be talking about today. My next present, my next point will be products. And why we made the products. But before we do that, I want to bring up our food Zen Idol. Come on up. Give her a hand. So what I wanted to focus on is how you're eating and how you made this work with your favorite foods. Because we want this to be more a workshop, not a presentation. So can we give her a big hand again?
So imagine if we do some food training in the office. So this is how we can build a community where you can take one person who creates a great balanced recipe. And then everyone in the room creates one per month. And then you share it in our Facebook community. Our Thai Zen community. And then you have 50 new recipes. This is the power of community. People want to feel like they can eat their food. And live the best life. So can everyone commit to making one recipe in the next week? Raise your hand if you can. Everyone? Now, yes. Point to the person next to you say, make your recipe. Point to the person behind you and say, make your recipe. Hold each other accountable. And we're going to start actively building the Thai Facebook community. So that as you share, you can immediately bring people into that group. So can everyone join the community? And then we're going to start sharing the community. Okay, let's give her a hand. Okay, I want everyone to stand up. I want you to say products. Now I want you to move your legs a little. You can't sit too long. You stop losing focus. Now we make products not to change lives but to fill nutritional gaps. So when I started coaching clients back in 1999, I was teaching people they need to eat every three hours. But it becomes difficult to do five real meals. So that's why we understood the power of making a right type of meal replacement shit. Also realize that certain people want to burn fat. They want to balance their hormone leptin, which is your appetite hormone. Which is why the NBJ then form a metabolism booster. And everyone make a muscle. I know our fitness trainer back there has got some muscles. <laughs> and I'm going to bring him up in a moment. But muscle is where you burn fat. It's your metabolism. Now whether you have fat or not, the older you get, the more muscle you have, the stronger you become. So muscle is your friend. So the three products I want to talk about, I know we don't have fuse here yet, but I want to explain why we made it and what makes it so special. And we have the Thai fuse being shipped right here to be registered. So it is coming. Okay. So watch. There's two types of protein. There's fast acting, so I want everyone to do this. Say fast acting. Fast acting. Go fast acting. Fast acting. So fast acting protein feeds your muscle. We have whey protein. It goes to through your body very fast. But if the shake is just whey protein, you're hungry an hour later. So we added slow acting protein. So say slow acting. Say slow acting. The slow acting protein is micellar casein. 
And that takes about two hours to fully digest. The combination of the two, exclusive to Zen Fuse, keeps you satisfied about two hours longer than every other shake. In addition, it has five strains of probiotics. So I want you to rub your stomach right here. You have intestines right here. And the probiotics is live bacteria that helps keep you regular and your intestines healthy. In addition, we have five grams of fiber. Now, who likes to be constipated in here? Yeah. Does anyone like to be? Is it fun? No. This is why your digestive system matters. We made fuse with a unique protein blend. Probiotics to keep you healthy. And fiber to keep you regular. And then it's PFC bounds, protein fat carb, so it's a meal by itself. So that's why you see Zen Fuse as twice a day, two shakes a day. It, it can be for breakfast, or, or it can be mid-morning or mid-afternoon. So soon we will make this here. Until you, if you don't have access to Zen Fuse, you can eat a real meal, or you can use a shake that maybe isn't as good, but it will help you better. So say, drink my Zen Fuse. Drink my Zen Fuse. Point to the person next to you, drink your Zen Fuse. Now, if you want to burn body fat, I want you to grab some fat. Grab it with pride. Now this is the key. This is why we have Zen 4. You have two types of hormones for your appetite. You have leptin and ghrelin. And ghrelin you release when you're hungry. Leptin when you're satisfied. So Zen Form does a few things for your body. It helps balance your hormone leptin. So you stay satisfied longer. It increases your metabolism so you burn more body fat. And it ignites your body along with the program to release more fat. So if you want to burn fat, you take two Zen, Zen form twice a day. 30 minutes before a meal. Or 30 minutes before exercise. Okay, makes sense? Good? Now remember, when you balance your body, you release your stored fat. And Zen form causes you to burn that much faster. Now I need everyone to give me their best muscle. And let's bring up our fitness trainer. So I need you to give me the biggest muscles. Seriously. <laughs> I'm going to talk about Zen Fit. And as our amazing trainer, who's a stud, he's going to do different poses the entire time. Because I want you to remember, keep going. I want you to remember how muscle is your friend. So maybe a bicep. So we made Zen Fit. Because amino acids make up your muscle. 
And many times after you work out, you break down muscle fibers. And ZenFit has essential amino acids to help repair and protect your lean body mass. Next one. Yes. So if you want strong muscles, don't worry about being as big and muscular as this man. But muscle is your friend. And the more muscle you have, the stronger you are. The more muscle you have, the stronger your bones are. The more muscle you have, the faster your metabolism. So you can take one Zen Fit or two Zen Fit twice a day. So one Zen Fit 30 minutes before a meal or exercise. So if you're working out a lot, you might want to do two Zen Fit a day. But at least one a day. Make sense? How great is this man? So this is the power of community. That together we change how people move, eat, and win. And I'm excited to do a lot more with this man. Now he's going to come back and help with our workout. So everyone say food. Say products. And we're now going to talk about community. But we must hear from another Zen Idol, so everyone can sit down. But I want you to give a big round of applause for my brother Moon, who's going to talk about how he uses the Zen products and all of the products in the system. เซนเดียร์ก็บูนนะครับก็เป็นเซนเดียร์ด้อยรุ่นหนึ่งนะครับก็วันนี้จะมาบอกว่าเอ่อตอนอยู่ในคลาสนะครับผมทานอาหารเ
นะครับล่าสุดก็วิ่งได้59นาทีนะครับ59นาทีวิ่ง10กิโลปัจจุบันอายุ48แล้วนะครับก็หวังว่าทุกคนนะจะทำผลิตภัณฑ์เซ็นนะอย่างต่อเนื่องนะครับหวังว่าทุกคนจะมีสุขภาพดีเช่นเดียวกันครับสวัสดีครับ Let's give him a big hand. I did kiss him. <laughs> you know, I just want to give a shout out before we talk about community. We're, once again, I'm so inspired by how everyone here is leading the way. But part of it is you need you need leaders and you need a place where you can do it. So I'd like to bring up our Thai team right now. Come on. A lot of times, people behind the scenes, they don't get enough appreciation. And this is why community matters so much. See, I have my wife Abby. I've had tough days in my life, as we all have. But every time that I'm struggling, she's right there by my side. She's my corner person. See, you can get your food right. You can have great products. But when you're struggling, and you're losing hope or belief. You need a community to help you. See, we're the community. But, but it takes people to organize it. It takes people to actually organize events and help people win and manage Facebook groups. So as we talk community, I'd like everyone to stand up and give these three amazing women a standing ovation. Remember to say thank you. Remember to tell each other we appreciate it. It's easy to forget. But we grow together because we all acknowledge and honor one another. So thank you. Okay, stay standing. So we did food. Say food. food. Say products. Product. And now community. community. We will be becoming more aggressive with our Facebook community. I will start doing videos. I'm going to start doing Facebook lives with Knox so we have translation. As we've done with everyone around the world. In Brazil in one year, our Brazilian Zen Project A Facebook community has 104,000 members. We have over 600,000 members in our Facebook communities. These are real people living the program. We have millions living in and we have 600,000 in the communities. We need to commit to build this community because it will help you inspire other people. When you have one person in the community, 
And she transforms. She can share with many more. And she can simply say, join the community. And then the community celebrates her. Or celebrates him. And provides him with recipes and ideas. It's how you light fire to a movement. So I'm asking everyone to make a commitment to the community. That you will join. That you will contribute. And then you will share. Can we do this? Now as we keep standing, I want to give another standing ovation to our other idol that's going to talk about community. Please come up.
It starts with this movement right here. And I, our new community leader right here. Okay. Okay, so hold on. I want to, everyone sit for a moment. So this is what we're going to do. I want to wrap with the story. And then we're going to move into our little 10 minute workout. Now look, today was a moment in time. A moment in time for us to be connected. When I fly to Milan tonight, my heart is still in Thailand with you. I'm not leaving. We're going to do Facebook Lives. We're going to do videos. I talked to the Juan right after I was in Singapore and I saw all of the Zen power. And I am committed to do everything I can to help Thailand. So I want to thank each of you. Because I'm a passion guy. And when I feel passion, I want to give as much as I can. So that's why I want to wrap up the story. It's a story about energy. And I want us to keep remembering the power of energy. So my son's 14. And my little daughter's four. And our four-year-old is, is on the autistic spectrum. And I'm a hugger. You know I love to hug people. But the first two years of Hope's life, she wouldn't hug me or look at me. Kids with autism, they, they respond differently to things. They're very smart, but they process it differently. But my father taught me something about 1%. 1% daily progress. So my wife Abby and I, we continue in our son doctor, we continue helping Hope 1% at a time. And as she got older, months when when you're two, two, two months makes a big difference. She slowly and slowly showing, feeling, hugging. But see what happened to me is I was tired one night. And normally when I come home after a long trip, my son Hunter runs to me. I park about 200 yards away and he runs to me. And he yells, Daddy! But something happened six months ago. And I almost missed one of the most special moments of my life. See, we all get tired. We all get, when we're tired sometimes, we don't give what we could. We don't give someone the attention they deserve. We don't say good morning to someone. We just go through life. That's not how you change the world. It's not how you change your life. But I was tired this night. And Hunter called me and said, Daddy, when are you coming home? And I said, oh, uh, I'll be there in five minutes. But I'm tired. Can you run to me tomorrow? And then my wife got on the phone. Whenever the whenever Abby gets on the phone, it's serious. And she said, what are you doing? Your son wants to run to you. So I said, okay. So I parked the car. And just remember this story whenever you feel like you're tired. And I got my truck. And all of a sudden, I see Hunter running. 
And we've done this a hundred times. It should always be amazing. But I was tired. But then behind Hunter, I saw this little girl running. And Hope ran to me. Jumped into my arms. And said, Daddy, I love you. Now for someone who a year and a half ago wouldn't hug me or look at me that was one of the greatest moments of my life. And I'm sharing it with you today because what you give every day matters. And if you don't give the passion then you may miss the moments. See, there's four types of energy in life. And I'm going to ask everyone to stand up for me. And this is going to lead right into our workout. So I need our top trainer to come up here. And I need you to get a partner. No music yet, no music. No music. So there's four types of energy. Everyone put four. So there's average energy. Now when you give average energy, you get no results. So this is what average energy looks like. Hey, how you doing? So give the person next to you average energy. Now is anyone inspired by average energy? No. So average energy, no results. I never worry about people who don't give energy. I focus on trying to inspire the ones who want to give energy. Because eventually everybody wants it. They just need to be led to it. Now, good energy gives you average results. So this is good energy. Hey, how you doing? Doing good? Nice. That's good energy. Give some good energy. That's better, right? So good energy gives you average results. Great energy, and there's extraordinary energy. So great energy gives you good results. So great energy is good, and this is what great energy looks like. Hey, how you doing? So that's good, right? So give some great energy. Okay, so look, if you give great energy every day, you will make a positive impact on people, and you will get good results, but to change lives, it's about raising your level, extraordinary energy. It's like watching all the kids in the room. They don't worry about what people think. They're not thinking about bills. They're not stressed. They're just in the moment. My wife Abby sent me a video last night. Hope loves Frozen, the movie. And Frozen 2 is coming out. So they went to the Disney store. And she got her new Elsa outfit. And she ran around the mall. As Elsa. 
And every day Hope dresses up like a new Disney princess. The one Merida the Brave. She has a red wig to wear. My point is, remember the joy of life. And if you could give extraordinary energy every day, think of the difference you can make in the world. Because that's what people want. So for the next 30 seconds, we're going to give some extraordinary energy in here. As we do that, we're going to clear the chairs. So get your stuff off your chairs. And then we're going to move into a workout. But before we do that, I want you to give some extraordinary energy. So we're going to need to hug as many people as you can for 30 seconds. And then we're going to do a fun 10 minute workout. But watch how we give energy right here. This is an example of extraordinary. So everyone look up here. I want you to think about energy like, like it's someone you haven't seen for 10 years. And you see that person. And you want to hug them. So here we go. I want you to find five people and give some energy. Go for it.
fight for Bangkok. Okay, now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do 30 seconds of strength training. And then we're gonna do 30 seconds of high intensity cardio. Okay? Everybody, ready? Come down, squat. Okay? Squat, hold it on the heel. Ready? Just hold it. We're gonna hold this for 60 seconds. Now I want you to shake a little. Look at me, shake the booty. Come on. Come on, who can shake it? Let me see it. Shake it. Come on. Shake it, come on. Come on. 30 seconds left, come on. Shake it. Come on, 20 seconds left. Come on, put it on the heels. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, come on. Shake your legs. And now an exercise with Bangkok. Let's get it. 
Did you have fun? You can do this anywhere, anytime. Now, when I come back, we need to do a 45 minute workout. But until that moment, you might be with the sexiest man in all of Thailand. So look, today was about us. About the community. Understanding food. Learning products. Realizing the power of each other. And having 